Greetings, trombonists at large. Hi, I'm the Vagrant Trombone, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about what is the third most important mute that I have ever heard. So we're just going to talk about it quick, all right? So the reason why I say the most important mute that I've ever owned is because I know you're going to need a straight mute. And if you want to play or any kind of commercial music, you're going to need a cup mute. But when you get into the third most important mute, then it can become a little, a little less obvious, let's say. So the third most important mute that I ever needed was a bucket mute. Now this is your classic Humes and Berg stone line bucket. It's ancient, has dust all over it, probably because I don't use it that much anymore. But uh, this is the classic sound of bucket mute with these uh, wires on it that are covered with like cheesecloth and cheap tape and, and uh, well, not the most user-friendly of items. But you get to learn it, you get to understand it, and you get to be pretty decent with getting them on and off. But it's that classic sound. and smooth velvety tone all those things that people like they're hard to get on and off but that is the classic sound now there are other kinds of bucket mutes one of which is like this one this old vacchiano that i have the reason why i have this one is because it's easier to get on and off and it sounds relatively good but it's not quite the right sound <laughs> it's a little brighter. Now you can overcome that by putting a towel or a rag inside of it, but I don't really like to do that. Um, another mute that uh, I use is uh, this Easy Bucket. I used to use the Easy Bucket, but all three of these mutes have the same big problem. I play multiple horns. Some of them have seven and a half inch bells. I have a horn that had an eight inch bell. Some of them are eight and a half inch. So obviously you have to have each mute has to fit that size of bell, and that can be a problem. So how do you get around the issue of the mute needing to fit in multiple horns? Well, that's where one of these comes in. These are, uh, this Joe Rao is a um, kind of an odd animal. It sounds fairly close to what you'd want it to sound like. <laughs> actually get them to sound more like the Humsenberg by taking the cotton stuffing out of the Humsenberg and putting it in this by removing this stuff and you can actually get them to sound pretty close another inexpensive method of getting a bucket mute is one of these these neoprene mutes now I keep this in my mute bag when I'm going places. I use them for rehearsals. I don't really like to use them in bands. As you can hear, it's kind of a brighter sound, more like Vacchiano. But you can calm it down a little bit if you throw a rag into it. But if the rag is in a different place, pretty much every time you put it on the horn, you can get some funny intonation or, or back pressure where notes are squirrely, where you're messing up the back pressure on the horn and you can miss notes, especially in the higher register. But uh, I do like this mute because it'll fit on multiple bells and I can just, uh, you know, I can keep it under my hat if I need to and it won't be a problem. But uh, really the only, the, the best method that I've found is this kind of mute. Now, I don't like these mutes necessarily for bass trombone. One of the reasons why is because it'll stay in this horn okay, but sometimes it falls out. So I always have to kind of hold on to it. So when I was playing bass trombone, you need two hands. You can't just play with one hand. So with my bass trombone, I would easy, either use the easy bucket or I'd use one of these. 
And even though I liked the easy bucket, the little tabs that, that uh, go over the edge of the bell, they break off eventually. No matter how nicely you try to treat it, another problem with that mute is it's noisy to put on and noisy to take off the horn. Now, this isn't exactly quiet, but I could get to the point where I could do it with relatively little noise and get this on and off pretty quietly. The easy bucket, you can never get off quietly. It will always make clanking, ringing noises against your bell. That's another place where the Jaral is the better mute. Now, the problem, the, the nice thing about this is this will fit in all of my horns. It doesn't really fit in my bass draw bone, but it will fit in my 42, my 36, my 12, my 6, and my 16, and as well as a couple of other horns that are hidden away. And it always works. Again, the issues with these, they're, they, they crack eventually, they break, and this, I don't know what this plastic is that they use, but it doesn't glue. And so, uh, and they're a little bright. And, um, and the issue with these, they're hard to get on, they're hard to get off. They can be noisy. Sometimes they'll fall off of a bass trombone and they fall apart. I've spent many hours keeping this mute in shape and I have like five of these. And uh, so, you know, you got to keep glue with you all the time. You can see where I've had to patch the cheesecloth because the hole got punched in it by another mute sitting in the bag. And it always seems like you see somebody who's had one of these explode in their mute bag and it's covered with all kinds of weird, fuzzy, mysterious, untreated cotton fiber stuff and it's a mess. And then there are some guys who will say, well, all you need is a rag and a, uh, a plunger. But again, I was a bass trombone player. You need two hands to play bass trombone. I needed something that was reliable to stay in my horn. Now that I'm playing tenor mostly, I just use that felt mute or I use, I use this and uh, hold on to it. <laughs> if I really want the classic sound of bucket mute, I'll still go to the tried and true. But this is only when I'm sitting in front of a microphone. Otherwise, yeah, I can get away with the other mutes and they're easier to use. And uh, this is the mute that stays with me in my bag most of the time just to make it look good. When I was playing on Count Basie, in fact, they have a kit of mutes that they supply for you so that everyone will have the same mute. And they're using this mute as their bucket mute currently in that band. So I hope you found this informative or I don't know. And. Maybe I'll see you on the bad stand. So, till then, thanks for watching.